Strata, where are you? Get back to your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. Hello again, friends. So it's June 23rd, it's the afternoon. It's a Thursday. And I've been in this campground for a few days. Got here Sunday night and it was uh, fairly busy. Um, it's thinned out now being it's Thursday, but I imagine it's gonna pick up uh, over the next 24 hours to 48 hours for the weekend. That said, I was up top and with all the rain that we've been getting, um, I wasn't getting much light for solar. Uh, just with the placement of the campsite was a little weird too. The sun was actually kind of going around the trees. So the opening part of it wasn't getting as much sun as I thought it would. So when things thinned out a bit, I moved down here and I wanted to show you my view. So this is Lake LaSalle in BC, about 50 kilometers outside of McBride, BC. Can't complain. Life is pretty sweet right now. It's June 25th, about lunchtime. I've been driving for a bit. Uh, I left my beautiful spot beside LaSalle Lake and I'm heading into Prince George for a while. Um, definitely time for a shower and uh, had it been nicer at the lake, I would have just jumped in the lake, but never really got sunny and warm for very long. Um, we had little stints, but it was still kind of chilly, chilly and cloudy, but anyways, so I left there and I'm heading to Prince George. We're gonna uh, grab a shower, get some laundry done. Uh, I have to do some grocery shopping, kind of running out of things like um, my brown sugar for my coffee, etc., etc. So along the way, I pulled into a rest area. Um, it's along the Bolron River, I believe it is. Um, yeah, I came down the, you turn off and you kind of come down by, you know, the river level. And uh, there's a little turnout right by the river and it just basically says, you know, 
limit your stay to eight hours. So if you did want to hang out here for a bit, you could. I'm not going to be here that long, but I figured I'd pull in and do a little update and drink some water and, you know, I'm in no hurry. I'm on the move, but I'm in no hurry. So anyway, um, I left the campsite by LaSalle Lake. It was beautiful. Part of me didn't want to leave, but I've been there almost six days, about five and a half days. So it's time to move on. I just chilled out for a week and basically did some editing. Uh, edited the, the two videos before this one. So I got that done and just enjoyed myself, kind of relaxed. Um, one thing about traveling on a very tight budget, when you find a nice place like that that's free, I stayed almost a week. So essentially I didn't spend any money for the week. Groceries that I already bought, campsite was free, view was free, and I had lots of time to enjoy it. So that's that. So onward to Prince George today. And from there, I'm going to be going down the 97 uh, south-ish. Not sure what I'll find. Uh, I have a campsite app, Ultimate Campgrounds Canada app. It hasn't been all that accurate lately. Uh, definitely not in Alberta. It does say that there's a couple forestry campgrounds, campsites along the way. So I might check those out and who knows, maybe I'll end up another six days somewhere in a nice, pristine, little quiet spot. Um, LaSalle Lake was getting busy. There's a family kind of reunion gathering going on more or less across the little road from me in the other area. They had the whole, the whole section pretty much filled up with friends and family. I did meet a cool couple. They parked beside me yesterday. Uh, they were from Luxembourg and they had one of those big cube European Mercedes built. I'm not even sure what they are. I think I saw something that said tech five on it or something four by four. It will go anywhere campers. I don't want to know what that cost. <laughs> But I was envious because that would be awesome. They have a little sticker on the door called the Pan America trip because they're planning to go all the way to South America. So kudos to them. But yeah, they pulled in and they took my spot when I left. So that was kind of neat. So that's about it. Onward to Prince George and I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, bye. So I'm in between Prince George and Quesnel, British Columbia. And coming into a construction zone which is 80 it's Sunday so I don't think there's any construction going on but it's still set it drop to 80 a guy flashes me his light so I figure okay well there's a cop pinching people for speeding through the construction zone nope there's an accident two cars in a motorhome how on a clear dry day in an 80 zone do you have a three car accident I don't get it so one guy who's up front is uh, being adamant about not letting people through because uh, there's debris and gas all over the freeway and he called the cops and they basically said if they can shut it down, they're on their way. Um, so we're just waiting. to touch on the accident a little bit that I went through or waited for um, there's a lady there that talked to the guys in the pickup truck who apparently were the cause of the accident uh, one was 18 with a learner's uh, L which basically means he's learning to drive and that also means that he's supposed to have a registered class 5 driver present at all times while he's driving the other guy, his brother, in the truck, didn't even have a license. They were moving from Surrey to Terrace. Their stepdad was in the U-Haul ahead of them. And by the looks of things, I'm not going to judge or assume, but it kind of looked like the guy driving the pickup truck was kind of, you know, pressured in to help out with the move don't worry about it kind of deal. So what happened was the two guys in the truck got distracted somehow, crossed the center line, almost hit either the car or the motorhome 
head on, swerved in the nick of time, sideswiped them both, and ended up overcorrecting or whatever, crossing both lanes again, and ended up in the ditch on the other side. I was about six cars behind all this. If I didn't stop, or if I was speeding, which I wasn't, I could have been right in the middle of that. And that's pretty scary. Um, they were really lucky that they didn't kill anybody. So it's just a reminder for me that everything can change in the blink of an eye. The, or, I mean, the people in the motorhome were from Belgium. They came all the way here from Europe, borrowed the motorhome from a friend, and were on a holiday in Canada, thousands of miles away from their home, and it was pretty much over, and could have been really over, because two guys weren't paying attention on the road and shouldn't have been on the road to begin with because they didn't even have a license. It's a reminder that you can't control everything and we're only here for a short time. Some of us a lot shorter than the others. It, you know, that could have been the case for a few people a couple days ago. I don't know. It just made me think. Made me thankful that uh, I'm growing some patience and, you know, I'm not going to worry about some truck behind me that wants me to go faster because I'm doing the speed limit and that's not fast enough. Forget it. Because had I been, things could have been way different today, if there was a today. So I just wanted to share that with you. It was just one of those things that was on my mind the last couple of days. You know, how in the blink of an eye your life can change or end. So... I hope you're out there living it to the fullest. Hello, hello. It's Monday the 27th of June in the afternoon. And I decided to take some time and come up and look at some BC forestry campgrounds that are kind of in between Williams Lake and Quinell. Now I came all the way into Howes Lake with a stop at Blue Lake on the way. I think I'm going to go back to Blue Lake for a couple of different reasons, which I'll touch on later. But for now, I'm going to show you a little bit of House Lake in case you want to come up this way one day. So as I'm looking around House Lake campground, I noticed the caretakers have arrived and are mowing the lawn. There is a cattle guard close to here. And I did see a couple of these fellows on the road. Actually, I guess they're girls. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of wandering through, mowing the grass, aren't ya? Oh, this guy's a fellow over here. Wow, he's pretty big actually. Essentially, it's just this little small circle. It'd be good for a group because it's uh, pretty quiet up here and there's not much around, that's for sure. The road in is a little bumpy. It's got potholes, etc. So you do have to take it kind of slow. Um, there's a few bugs here uh, right now. What is this? Late June? Um, but it's not too bad. It's kind of a nice little lake. So yeah, there's Howes Lake. A uh, little uh, info on this stop. But I think I'm going to head back to Blue Lake. And like I said, I'll show you why later. But I think I'm going to enjoy it later a little more. Alright, um, on my way back there. <laughs>
Hey friends, Wayne here. Firstly, I want to say thanks for following along. Um, hopefully you guys are getting something out of these videos, whether it's a good laugh at my expense or some actual information. Secondly, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me below or uh, through the Facebook page or directly through the blog. All those links are below in the description as well as my photography links. So if you're interested in some of the photos that I do take, you can find me there. And thirdly, if you can, if you like what I'm doing here, click subscribe, maybe give me a thumbs up here and there. The more interaction I get on YouTube, the more eyes YouTube puts my videos in front of and helps me grow. So thanks for following along and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. It's like working with a monkey.